Hello everyone, I am here with Marcus and Martinez from Sweden. Melena Marcus. Melena Martinez. And that was the biggest surprise of today. <laughs> Hi guys, thank you so much for being with us today. Um, it's really good to have you here. And uh, I'm so happy that I meet the host country. Oh yeah. A bit far away from the host country, but still close to the host country, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's, no, it's uh, good to be here. We're so yeah. excited, you know, to get to represent Sweden. We're in Amsterdam now. It's going to be a very fun pre-party tonight, so yeah. it's going to be cool. I have some questions for you. Do it. Um, I don't speak neither Swedish nor Norwegian, but... Um, we do. I know. <laughs> I mean, normally you do. <laughs> so last year you were second behind Lorene. Now you're first and you get to represent Sweden in Sweden. Mm. How much did you want to compete in Eurovision? Uh, it, it's like a dream, you know. I actually didn't think it was possible for us. Yes. Uh, and when we uh, joined the Melody Festival, I didn't think we we got the uh, we, uh, that we didn't get the support that we did because we are Norwegians uh, being in Sweden. So I didn't think we got so much vote, but we got. And uh, yeah, and I, I don't think I just think the reaction of when we won just says it all how much it meant. So if you haven't seen it, you can search it up because we started crying. We did emotional. I think it was very emotional, and yeah. given the fact that there were many uh, artists from previous years of Melody Festival and that participated, it was a smashing win. And congratulations! Mm. Thank, you. Thank you, thank uh, you. What a hello. Okay, guys, you are from Norway originally, and you are from Greece. Yes, I yeah. am, and I visited Norway in October, by the way. Oh, was also, it cold? Uh, not that much, huh? but still, I'll tell you more later. Yeah, after, yeah. After sorry, the interview. sorry, interview time, interview time. <laughs> I mean, you come from Norway. Would you like maybe in the future to participate in uh, Melody Grand Prix? Have you already tried to do it, uh, or you think that once in a lifetime uh, I'm, you will go to your vision and uh, it's going to be like only once. We're actually been uh, asked by Norway to rep not represent them but join the competition uh, a few times but we've said no because uh, it's not the right timing for us right now. Uh, we didn't feel like it uh, was right for us and uh, maybe in the future if it suits us we will but right now we're focusing on Eurovision and uh, yeah that's the most important thing for us right now. Okay so you have been asked by Norway. We have but it was when we were out we had a lot to do at that time and then corona came and after corona we've been working a lot in sweden so this felt natural now it just felt like we just said no because we didn't want to but no, it was because we were traveling around in greece as well we had a lot to do so you know eurovision takes a lot of time so we just didn't have time for it at that time yeah. i think that everything every time that someone might say no there is like a good reason behind it yeah. i mean um you come from you come from norway but you 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 would represent sweden like neighboring countries you will have the support that you I mean I'm sure about this and people will we support hope so. you in general of course we hope so. um, but you will be the ones that will open the grand final I mean I don't know how many years we haven't seen that like the host country opening the grand final how do you feel about that does that make you feel nervous it's it's crazy you know uh, but it gives me goosebumps you know Sweden uh, uh, we're representing Sweden in Sweden and we're the first one out it's crazy you know uh, I'm just super excited for it. Of course, it's a bit pressure because you know you have to have a banging start to Eurovision. So we're just gonna give everything, and you know we're gonna make a party there and uh, start will. the Eurovision with a party. You will, thank guys. You. Thank you so much thank for this you. small interview. No Before problem. I let you go, can you give us some short wishes to all GE Greece and all the fans? Yes, yes. Greek fans, listen up. Listen up. Sasa and uh, we just want to say that hopefully we can see you guys soon again in Greece. We miss you so much and we need your support in Eurovision so hopefully we can get that from you love you so much Efaristo Barakalo Kalinista Kalinista thank you guys so much thank you